Hey guys, it's me again. My video, my video camera cut off. But like I said, uh, Matt probably done blow through that money he made with WWE. He, I mean, he has a nice house. Still driving the same car, but hey. He, we can see that he did good with his money as over the as he was with the WWE over the years. He did good with his money. You can tell he saved his money. He built that nice brick house. Got him a corset, which he bricked. But my question is, is Max going to stay with Revy? And our and my other question is, are we as are we Matt Hardy fans tired of Matt Hardy's bullshit? That's my and my answer to that question is hell yes. Um, Matt Hardy can sit here and put all these videos on YouTube saying how he's going back to the old Matt Hardy, the young boy who started out in the business. But you can't go back to the old young Matthew. All Matt can do is strive to be a new Matt. I think Matt needs to stop fighting Matt. And I and I said it in my last video. Quit trying to be your brother. I said. It's like the tables are turning. Matt was always a responsible one while Jeff was out doing drugs and stuff. Now it's like the tables are flipping here. Like they're in constant circling because both of them need to be in rehab. Like, I'm sick of seeing Matt Hardy on TMZ as it is. Like, I never used to come to TMZ at all. I don't even watch TMZ. But ever since the first arrest mugshot, I was like, oh, okay. I need to go to TMZ see if Matt Hart is on there. I'm checking it constantly. And here it is again. Here he is again on TMZ. Arrested again. So, whatever, Matt Hardy. If you get arrested... Well, if you get arrested once you finish them three months of rehab, I will do a video, but it will be the same thing over. Matt Hardy can't help Matt Hardy if Matt Hardy ain't willing to help Matt Hardy, however it goes. He's got to be willing to help himself first. He's got to be willing to admit that he has a problem. First step in AA is admitting you have a problem. Hell, we all know Jeff ain't admitted that problem yet, but that's another story. I'm just going to leave this off with saying, man, hard to get your bullshit together, because I like you as a wrestler. I like you as a person, I just don't like you as a druggie. Put it plain and simple. And I, uh, I commend Rebby Sky for calling the police. She, I mean, she was worried for your well-being. She was worried. She felt she might kill yourself. So, kudos to Rebby. And this is John Cena, Twilight 11, signing out. Um, I'm saying, I wish you the best of luck in rehab, and you need to really thank WWE for paying for your rehab, uh, <laughs> and guys, rate, comment, subscribe, add me as a friend, um, thumbs up this video, reaction, response, you know, whatever the whole thing means. <laughs> It might be long, it might be short, I don't know, my camera was cutting out, and, um, I have a cold, so my voice is scratchy, and it sounds like I'm nervous, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm sick, and I'm sick of seeing Matt Hardy on TMZ. Peace out. It's a damn shame.